so what are primary and secondary markets and in order to better understand what these two are first i should tell you what capital markets are and then you will better be able to understand what i'm trying to say so capital markets are markets that basically connects two types of entities one who has money or the suppliers of capital and the other who wants money or borrowers of capital or you may also say users of capital now the entities individuals or whoever has the money wants to invest that money and earn some return on that and on the other side various entities who wants money for various reasons offers them various types of returns by issuing various financial instruments such as bonds equity shares debentures etc so capital markets are basically markets that connects the suppliers of capital with the borrowers of money that can invest that money into some useful economic activity and capital markets are regulated by financial regulating agencies which differ from country to country in united states the regulating authority is sec and in india it is sebi and in some other country they will be having their own concerned authorities and if broadly classified capital markets are of two types first is the primary market and the second is secondary market so let me first explain what is primary market primary market is a market where securities or new securities are created or issued and sold to investors for the very first time and that's why it is also called new issues market in primary market companies that are private approach investors and tries to sell securities such as shares bonds or similar other instruments and receives money in return for selling their shares and unlike stock market here two or more people doesn't exchange securities but companies or the issuer sells shares to investors or buyers the primary market's main role is to provide a market for the sale of new securities and gives an opportunity to issuers to raise funds for meeting their various requirements usually companies governments and other institutions are active participants in primary market the securities can be issued domestically or in international market and the best example of this is ipo in simple terms ipo or initial public offering is basically companies that are not public yet they are private and they want their companies to be listed on stock exchange so they sell their shares to general public for the first time and that is basically ipo and i've explained ipo in detail in my next tutorial so you can watch my next tutorial in order to get the details now secondary market secondary markets are basically the market where the securities such as shares bonds and similar other instruments which were previously issued in the primary market are now bought and sold by various individual investors banks investment firms hedge funds and other institutions and majorly the trade happens between investors but sometimes companies also intervene by issuing more shares or maybe buying back the issued ones that are previously issued the best example of secondary market is stock exchange where people buy and sell financial securities every day and the most popular securities traded on stock exchange are stocks options futures bonds etc and due to more number of buyers and sellers in this market it is considered to be highly liquid that is securities can be sold frequently without wasting time and looking for buyers and sellers and not getting one so this market is really liquid highly liquid and finally some popular stock exchanges are nyc nasdaq nse etc and that's pretty much all about primary and secondary markets